Welcome back everyone, my name is Avin Reddy and let's continue with this series on Django. Now till this point we were able to print hello world on this screen and that to the page we have created is not a static page, right? So what we have done is the moment you send a request to a page, so what page I'm talking about? So, so this is what I was talking about. The moment you go to your browser and when you say localhost or the IP address colon 8000 you will get hello world because this is your home page right so so in your Django what we are doing is the moment you send a request so it will go to the URLs of your project where you have mentioned that whenever someone calls for the admin this is what it will handle but we are not doing that we want to handle for the home page and that will be handled by calc.urls which is here so we have one more url.py in our app now the question is why don't we do everything in this url because we can have multiple apps right and every app will have its own url and it makes sense to do that because it will be isolated so if you touch one thing it will not affect the other one it will be easier to manage so in the urls.py you can see we are saying again path and then we are saying for the home page we have a function named as home so if you go to views.py which is your python file for views here we are saying this is a function home the moment it, call, it get called you just have to send a response which is a http response and you have to send hello world and that's why we are, say, we are able to see that hello world but hold down if you talk about the real projects if you talk about the actual websites you don't actually print only one text right you, you might want to print multiple text you want to print an image or you want to do some amazing ui style there don't worry i'm not going to do that do that here we are not going to create a good looking website which we just want to to get a simple web page even when you say web page it will have certain html tags right for the title uh, for the bg color i mean if you want to change the background color uh, i know how to do that but okay so you can change the background color and then you can also have some amazing font right if you want to use a big heading small heading so of course that should be done in html now how will you use html here so let's say I want to increase the font size of it or maybe I want to set it h1. So yes, you can do that. You can actually type h1 here. So before hello world, you can say h1 and after hello world, you can say h1 close. This is perfectly possible. But is it logical? Because if you go to browser, it will surely work. You can see refresh, you got hello world in a big font. But what if you want to create a big page? I mean, multiple tags. So it doesn't make sense to type all the tags here. So what we should do? We should be creating a separate page, okay? A home page, which will have a lot of uh, HTML tags. But don't you think the moment you create a new HTML page, it will be a static page? Once you specify the content, we cannot change it. It will be static, right? We want to make it dynamic. And, and that's where in Django, we have this amazing concept called templates. So you can imagine in template, what we can do is we can have a HTML page, okay? And in that, we can have a dynamic content. The layout will be fixed. You can, you can change layout or you can make it static. That's your choice. So imagine the background color will be fixed. Everything, the entire layout will be fixed, but the data will change. And yes, that is possible. So in Django, we have a concept of DTL, which is Django template language. So we have one more option there. We can also use Jinja, but again, we'll talk about that later. Uh, as of now, let's focus on templates. In fact, if you go to settings, we have seen this, right? We have templates here and here we are using Django templates, right? So we, using this, you can actually achieve that. Now to see that we have to actually create a page, right? So where do you will create a page? Normally, you can create a page outside the app or in general, the root directory. So that's a root directory here. Uh, so I will just come back here. So I just want to create a folder where I will put all the pages. Now, what name I should be giving it? So you can give any name to it. You can say pages, you can say templates. So that's your choice. You can have anything. So I will say templates here since we are using DTL. In this templates folder, I want to create a file which is home.html. So let's do that. So I will click on uh, that add file here and we'll say home.html. And this is where you will print hello world but this time of course i will be using h1 tag and i will print hello world but just to get a different text because you might even not be knowing that something has changed so what i will do is i will simply say some exclamation mark because in the actual output here we don't have exclamation marks so now we know when things are changing right so you can see we got hello world and then at the end we are getting some exclamation marks so how will you call this home.html so for that we have to do some changes because if you go to your browser and if you say refresh nothing is happening right so the first thing you have to change is your setting file so if you go back here and if you say settings 
this is where you have to do some changes okay now what change so you have to change your this dirs file which is path which is actually a directory file so you have to specify the path of the template because when you will search it because the moment you load this application your django should know where you have all the templates so let's specify the path here to do that you have to say os.path.join and in this you have to specify in the bracket you have to specify two things first the base directory so you can simply say base dir and here you have to mention the folder name where you have all the files so you can say we have the those things in templates and your job is done so you have specified the path now so you have to also change your views.py file because here we are saying http response and we are editing the text we don't want to do that we want to call the html page and to achieve that instead of saying response http response we have to say render because you have to render your template because template is just a file and it might have some dynamic content so you have to merge it right you have to merge your static content with dynamic content and that is called as rendering but we are not doing that as of now right we have we don't have dynamic content we'll do that but of course we have to use render because that's how thing works so in this render we have to first pass the object of request because again we'll use this request object later as of now let's pass the request object and then you have to also mention the page you want to call so of course we want to call home.html and that's it your job is done so if i go back to my browser i hope this will work let's refresh can you see that we got a dynamic content we are calling that home.html and you can also see that we got exclamation marks there but hold on we are talking about dynamic content right what if you want to use dynamic content here so let's say instead of saying hello world i want to print hello naveen here is it possible yes we can do that but i want this name to be dynamic so what we can do is instead of having this name on this page let's go to view now this is your python code right so you can have any con any you can do any operation here so maybe you can also fetch this name from database so if you want to do that you can simply pass the name here as well so you can say you can use a curly bracket here and specify the name give a colon and the name we are passing is let's say Naveen so I want to use this name in my HTML so we are passing some a JSON format here or the data you can simply say go back to your home.html and here we want to use that stuff so to achieve that we can simply use two curly brackets and here we can specify a name now that makes it dynamic so I will, I will talk about this what those curly brackets means but let me just check if it is working and it's working can you see that we got Naveen the amazing thing is if you go back to your views and if you change the name again this name can be from anywhere it can be from the internet it can be from live streaming so let's say if you are sending huge amount of data you can pick up any name and you can print it here as of now let's keep it let's keep it any name so let's let's go with Kiran and now if I go back let's refresh so you can see we got Kiran we are not changing anything in the home.html we are doing that in python code right that's what when you say dynamic content now this curly brackets here it simply means that the code which we are writing here is dynamic okay so this is the Jinja pattern what you say or Jinja template now if you are coming from JSP or PHP we have the same concept there as well now this is only for the variable can we use actual code can we do operations here and the answer is yes you can also do operations here but how to do that that we'll see later so i hope you are enjoying this we have just created some dynamic content using template so this is your dlt which is django template language also we can also use jinja in fact we have multiple engines one is the django template which is by default you can also use jinja uh, but we'll see that later as of now this is working so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos Bye bye